Hello, so in this video, we're gonna talk about how to keep your viruses in remission, okay? So the first thing you need to know is that viruses are not alive, okay? They're a piece of genetic material wrapped in a sack and they're actually dormant and they're waiting until your resistance is low, you're sick, tired, and getting older, and then they come out and they invade your cells, hijack the copy machine and start reproducing themselves so it can then spread and destroy different parts of your body. So your own immune system then has to work harder to then counter that attack. And that's why sometimes it takes seven to 10 days or even longer sometimes to dismantle these virus infections because antibiotics don't work for viruses. Uh, viruses are like everywhere in the environment. Now, even in the sea, per liter of sea water, you have over a hundred billion viruses. And they are there to help break down bacteria uh, and keep um, the overgrowth of bacteria from becoming too large. And so they break down this bacteria and other microorganisms down to the very, very small uh, carbon atoms. So they kind of help balance um, the excess of certain microorganisms. Now, the thing I want to tell you about viruses is that they can't really harm you unless your cells let them harm you, okay? In other words, you have to be susceptible to the virus. There has to be some weak barrier or weak membrane. And that comes mainly from stress or poor nutrition or even radiation. And there's other things that can trigger viruses. But stress is a big one. Most infections, what happens just before the person gets the infection, or shall I say, allows the virus to invade the body because the virus is already there, um, is the stress. Stress activated like herpes or shingles pain. So many different viral infections occur uh, right after stress events. So that tells us that we need to keep the adrenal glands really, really strong uh, because if the adrenal glands are sick or not working, like in a condition called Addison's disease. Addison's disease is a condition where your adrenals are pretty much burnt out. It's like adrenal fatigue on steroids. These cases have a lot of problems with the immune system. They get a lot of viral infections, okay? So this is very important. So you have to do whatever you can to really keep your stress level low. Daily walks, eating good nutrition, making sure you hang out with people that don't stress you out. I know some people have chronic problems in life. Um, doing whatever you can do to lessen that problem. If you're involved in a stressful relationship, try to work it out or you know, get another relationship because that can really keep your cells susceptible and vulnerable to attacks from viruses. Um, poor nutrition is another factor, uh, especially the uh, trace minerals, like if you're low in zinc or selenium, for example, your susceptibility to viruses go up because your cells get weak. Your immune system depends on those trace minerals and there's all these enzymes that um, help you with the protection. Radiation is another uh, trigger for viruses to invade the cell. Now there's a couple nutrients that are really important if we're talking about viruses. Vitamin C is probably the most potent vitamin to help protect you against viral invasions, okay? Sauerkraut, bell peppers, leafy greens, very, very important. And of course, orange juice, right? No, I'm just kidding. Orange juice is totally pasteurized. It's kind of a dead product, which kills the vitamin C. The heat kills the vitamin C. It has a lot of glucose. It doesn't have vitamin C unless they add it to the orange juice, um, as in the synthetic version of vitamin C. Now you might say, well, I just want to grind the juice fresh and drink it. But yeah, you're getting a little vitamin C with that. Not as much as you think, but you're getting all the sugar with it. Because one thing that will activate viruses is a high sugar diet, okay? So that's important to keep enough vitamin C. Vitamin A is very, very important in keeping viruses in check. And this is a fat soluble vitamin. Vitamin D is very important in handling viruses as well and helping your immune system. And a really good remedy to have both of these together as a 50-50 split, 50% vitamin A and 50% vitamin D, would be cod liver oil, the stuff that your grandmother used to give you right when you started to get sick. Well, now you know why, because it has a lot of vitamin A and a lot of vitamin D. And of course, you can get out there and get some sun, very important. Another thing that's interesting is a lot of people get sick in the fall, um, the flu season, which is viruses. Why is that? I mean, the most logical thing is that you're gonna have a lower amount of vitamin D because you're coming out of the summer with all this sun, okay? And then all of a sudden you get darkness, 
a sudden drop in vitamin D. If you're not taking vitamin D, um, you can end up with a susceptibility to viruses that then invade the body. Okay, and I'm not recommending things like vaccines and things like that, like the flu vaccine. It seems like my patients that used to get those vaccines just got the flu. I personally, I don't think I've ever had a flu vaccine at all, and I've never gotten the flu at all. So calcium lactate is also good uh, to put viruses back in remission, uh, especially with kids and young toddlers, if they have like a fever or a virus and you're not sure if it's bacteria or virus, give them a little calcium. It's inexpensive, it's safe, um, and watch what happens. You might see a, a quick remission of that virus, especially if it's a fever or a cold. Even in adults, if you have something like herpes, a simplex where it's on your lip, this virus that comes out, calcium lactate is a really good remedy to put that thing back in remission. And of course, the combination of calcium and vitamin D would work even better because vitamin D helps the absorption of calcium by 20 times in the small intestine. All right, so that gives you some ideas on what you can do to keep your viruses in remission. Thanks for watching. So I wanna know about what you think about this video. So please comment below and tell me what you think.